Economically dominant countries like the United States and Japan know that pretty much everyone wants their currencies. Poor countries far less so, which is why they oftentimes have to, for example, borrow in dollars. According to Modern Monetary Theory, or MMT, countries such as the US and Japan can be far more aggressive when quote-unquote printing their problems away. As such, 1. Why issue bonds when you can just create money directly to fund various expenses? 2. Unemployment is considered a consequence of governments engaging in spending too timidly. When resources such as, in this case, labor, are not being used by the private sector, why not create money and offer a job guarantee to everyone? 3. If inflation becomes a problem and there's too much money chasing goods and services, can't we simply raise taxes and remove excess liquidity? Needless to say, for approaches this aggressive, MMT has received its share of criticism. For example, 1. What about the independence of the central bank? More specifically, what if the government demands money creation for MMT policy reasons and the central bank refuses? 2. For something involving such aggressive currency creation, shouldn't one be more creative when thinking about how inflation can be tackled rather than focusing so much on the effectiveness of taxation in this context for which there isn't nearly enough relevant evidence? 3. What about market psychology issues? How much would be too much and lead to market participants no longer accepting the currency of a country with overly aggressive policies? All in all, modern monetary theory is just that at this point, a theory. One, however, that has become more popular in light of the economic effects of the pandemic. From more being done on the fiscal policy front to an increased eagerness to experiment, it is therefore likely that it will be put to the test in one form or another. Love it or hate it, MMT is probably coming in at least some form.